Aloha, y'all. Welcome back to Pete's Treasures. I'm here live on Facebook, and this will be uploaded onto YouTube later. Uh, it is the first summer, uh, first Friday of summer for me, because I am now thankfully on summer break after teaching a long year. And it's been a while since I did one of these lives. I just wanted to chat with you and show you what kinds of treasures we have found while thrifting and going a few other places lately. Um, I have many, many videos coming up of other thrift store finds, and that's the kind of kind content we like to do on our YouTube. So if you haven't checked out our YouTube at Pete's Treasures, then stop by and subscribe and let us know uh, you're, you've watched or something. <laughs> um, one more thing I was gonna say, I am also live on the thrifting board one of the face, well, the only Facebook group that I help admin. It's a great place if you are wanting to know more about selling online on any platform. And yeah, hi, Becky. You're the first one to join us. Thanks for joining me. Um, I guess I can go ahead and get started. I'm so excited. I got a lot of good things recently. And I just love sharing. Here is the spread. Lots of cool bolos and interesting finds. Bolos are items you should be on the lookout for when thrifting to flip for a good profit. Uh, let's start with these buttons. Hey, Lisa, good to see you. Look at all of these buttons. <laughs> what am I going to do with all these buttons? Okay, I got them for $6.50. It's the brand Luli, L-U-L-I. Now, don't ask me why... However, I have some ideas. Number one, I feel like we could package them and piece them out on eBay a little bit. Number two, maybe there's some crafting we can do whenever I have time to craft or make time to craft. I know. Hi, Andrew. My brother is here watching. He has a YouTube channel called Knickknack Twin because <laughs> we're twins and we like knickknacks. Hey, Elisa. Thanks for joining me, everybody. So I also had another idea. Uh, I was going to put them in maybe some different containers for the antique booth and just make little, I don't know, little things pe people can buy filled with buttons. I don't know. The possibilities are just endless, aren't they? But anyways, I thought that was a great deal for six fifty. And look at this cute little mouse candle, y'all. I love little mice. I have a mouse tree at Christmas time. And Matthew got this at an estate sale. The only thing is, he's broken. Oh, he's staying for the video. There, he's broken. But it'll be for me. Because that's what everybody needs, right? <laughs> oh yeah, Elisa. We posted a YouTube video about this. This was on a parade float in New Orleans for Mardi Gras. Uh, with the band Vince, Vance, and the Valiants. And we actually went to an estate sale right after we got double vaccinated the same day because we noticed there was an estate sale sign. And it turned out to be Vince Vance's house, and I didn't know the band. Um, and yeah, we got it for 200 bucks. And I don't know, I just love it. Whenever we have a tiki bar, it's going to be our main focal point. But it's made out of like, I don't know, plaster and what? Foam. Foam and yeah, I just love it. So yeah, I don't know if this is going to be its forever home. But for now, that's the story. And I was surprised he lived five minutes from us. But I digress. <laughs> now, this is kind of cute. Have you all ever seen these bunnies that you put cotton balls in? Ooh, that cotton ball has seen better days. <laughs> um, this is like pre-pandemic cotton balls. I don't know what I'm saying. Anyways, these are the little bunnies that you put them in there, and they're so cute. Put it in your bathroom. You can use its tail to wipe things. Anyways, that got awkward. No, um, we're going to put it in our booth, and I just think it's cute. My mom actually collected some of these, but I was excited because I had never found one in the wild. But Matthew got it at the estate sale recently. So this is a Burwood butterfly. I love uh, Burwood products. Let's see if I can find. There it is. 
Um, it is plasticware that people use for home decor. Uh, same as, not same, but similar to the brands Dart, uh, Sirocco, Home Interiors. But people love to paint them, and I actually like this color. Fun fact, my grandmother's room, when she lived at our house uh, several years ago, was painted this orange color. But we actually recently sold some Burwood butterflies um, yeah, on eBay. So this is going to go in the antique booth. Let's see. Elisa says, how about putting the buttons in candy jars with a ribbon? <laughs> Instant granny gift. I like it, Elisa. That's kind of what I was thinking. Just finding really cool like jars or containers that are all different and putting them in there. I guess I'll show you this item now because I got this for 41 cents. It is an antique nursing bottle. The graduated nursing bottle. And I think this would be kind of a quirky bottle to put these little buttons in. And then it would look like milk. Okay. <laughs> Maybe a little ribbon on top or I don't know. I think that would be a kind of a cool gift. It reminds me of like a curiosity shop. Yes, you pull cotton balls out of his butt. Exactly right. Elisa, I love talking about bunnies with you. This is the second bunny object we've talked about together. <laughs> um, speaking of grannies, and no, I'm just kidding. Please don't feed the bears. They're stuffed. Perfect for pride. Um, this is Spooner Creek Pottery. Kind of reminds me of Trinity Pottery. And uh, they are desirable on eBay. We've sold lots on eBay. And I think this is going to go in the booth. I mean, this just screams antique booth to me. So, yeah, whenever you find this, this is a bolo. It's, it's very well made. And, you know, they don't go for, like, high, high end. But the bigger, the better. And I think this could go for about 15 And for a dollar, that's great. Great ROI. Oh, my gosh. I almost knocked this guy off. Okay. Let's push it aside. Look at my little woodland creatures. Anyways, I got this mug. And actually, I got three of them. I usually don't buy, like, a lot of hobbyist pieces. That's what it kind of looks like to me. But I don't know. This one seemed kind of special to me. It kind of has a mid-century look to me. Um, but, you know, it, it could be studio pottery. I don't know. It just felt special. We'll see what happens. Uh, stuff like this that aren't marked are sometimes hard to list. But I love mugs, and I kind of want to keep this. Oh, my gosh, y'all. I just got an eBay sale right now. A Selena cassette for 64 bucks. You know how many offers I've sent on that cassette tape? Yay. Sorry, I got really excited. That's the most I've ever sold a cassette for. Yes. Okay. So anyways, those were like $1.39, and I just liked them. Okay, what do y'all think about this? Doesn't it look so vintage and kitschy to me? Or to me it does. I got it for $0.41. Cents. I know that's such a random price. I think this looks like a vintage, like, sprinkles container. What do y'all think? Or like a food dye? It looks like it should have, you know, little a little cap. Well, what am I trying to say? A sprinkle or sprinkle cap. I don't know. Anyways, 100% recyclable paper. I don't know. Oh, okay, spice jars. Okay, I kind of thought it was some kind of kitchen. Spice jars. Thank you, Lisa. She said they had them in the 70s. Awesome. I, I'm glad to know it's spice because now I want to look it up. Oh, Matthew just got it. This is the tape that we just sold one minute ago. Selena y los Dinos. You know, she's from Texas. They have the Netflix series right now. Yeah, $64. Pick up your Selena cassettes. How much do we love that hairdo, too? <laughs> um, yeah, y los Dinos. I think that was her band before she went solo. Uh huh. Who's her brothers? Oh, her brothers and her brothers. So that's really cool. I got it in, last summer in Albuquerque, so... Anyways, oh, yeah, that would be a great idea to put buttons in here. I might want to keep that. That, that just sounds so much fun. Oh, <laughs> Pete says hi back, and he's being very good by not barking right now. Look at this, y'all. I, I mean, let's just take a moment. I don't buy very many VHSs, 
but I had to pick this up. Whitney's Adventure in Doll Land in Search of Doc Moses. I mean, this doll looks over at dot com. It looks like it's like she's piercing in or staring into your soul. Award winning video. I mean, look at those bunny flip flops or I don't know. I, why did I need this? I don't know why, but it was 41 cents. It was made here in Dallas. Oh, but you know what? This is funny. Look, join Whitney in her adventure as she travels to Dollland. Look at these dolls, y'all. Creepy. Oh, my gosh. Okay, but I like the reviews. One of the most original children's videos ever. My children love every minute of it. <laughs> if you like great stories and have any love for dolls, this video is a must. The fine... Oh. The final scene in Doll Land is a classic. I love all of the dolls, but my favorite is Jenny. That's what Christy Heston said. Where are you, Christy? My favorite is the little doll that sings Silent Night. Oh my gosh, I want to pop this in. And if I do, I'm going to make a YouTube video about it. The most beautiful dolls in the world are in Doll Land. <laughs> Mother of three and doll collector. That's a 40-minute video. I'm sorry, y'all. That just cracked me up, and I love weird, quirky things. <laughs> I know it is horrifying. It, you know, it's one of those independent uh, videos. Maybe someone had a little bit too much money, and they're like, little Susie, oh, no, little Whitney just wanted to make her own doll land video. Anyways, I digress. Wasn't that fun? Uh, this I got at Thrift Giant, and it is beautiful. Look at that gold. It's like a handmade ceramic heart. I love this part. It looks really cool. And it has like a rattle in it. Hmm. Oh, and it's signed, but you know, I don't really... I think it's just some studio or something, but I was really interested in it. And it was like less than a dollar, and so was this. This one is more stoneware looking, and it has a little rattle. I mean, why does it have a rattle? Are you going to give this to a baby? To drop on their little foot. <laughs> yes, Aliza. Um, I know. I want to know what award. It says award-winning video. Like, what award? What award? Let's look in here. It says do not duplicate it. it oh, I should call that number. 1994. But yeah, I thought these hearts were pretty too. And they were in great condition. And we'll see. I don't know what to do with them. Probably eBay. But, you know, I think antique booth would be great because people could actually touch it and see the good quality. <laughs> Christy murdered her family in 1986. Who's Christy? <laughs> I love it. That's exactly the reaction I was hoping. I'm glad people think it's as creepy as me. I mean, not as me, but as I thought. Now, this is pretty cool. I don't remember how much I got for it. Probably a dollar something. Oh, oh, my goodness. Sorry. Phantasmagoria. Now, I think this was, an well, it says amusement park in Tulsa, Oklahoma. So I think this was, is a now defunct uh, roller coaster because it says I rode Phantasmagoria. But I guess the theme park is Bell's. So anyways, I said that all in the wrong order and probably got many people confused. And I'm going like this, so you can't even see it. But I, I just really like this glass. I'm a fan of Halloween. And, you know, that would be the perfect mug or glass or chalice for, you know, a Bloody Mary, even though I don't drink those. Stephanie has a oh, Stephanie, is that a wallet you have in the left? Yes, it's like a little clutch. I thought this was pretty neat. Uh, by the brand Roxy. In fact, I've been finding a lot of Roxy stuff lately. I found a Roxy uh, snowboard or snow skis um, case, and I found a pillowcase too. Yeah, we we just got into Depop, and uh, if anyone wants to follow our Depop, it's at Pete's Street. So P E T E S Street. And yeah, Matthew's been getting into it lately, and I'm glad because it's good to branch out into other platforms, and Depop is really popular right now. So yeah, I thought that was nice, and uh, it feels like leather. I'm not a good judge of that, but it could be faux leather. And there's no money in it. I always check for money, but the zipper works and everything, so there you go. 
a cute little clutch. I think it was less than two dollars. <laughs> oh, the one <laughs> who loved the doll. Yes, Christy Heston. Oh, Lord, I need to look her up. What if she's watching this right now? <laughs> um, this, who remembers this, y'all? Bass Fishing. Now, this is almost a new open box. It has, looks like it was opened at the bottom. These can go for up to $40 on eBay, but I got it for 3 bucks, and yeah, it can go for 25 at least. So we're going to maybe list it for 40 So yeah, pick these up because I think people still like them. Oh, yeah, Matthew said he got one in, the sto in his stocking in the 90s. I know one of my friends or something had it. I was more into little Tamagotchis, um, but I had dinky dinos. And you know what? They actually still sell them on eBay. Like someone has all of this new old stock. So anyways, I went to a garage sale, oh my gosh, over a month ago. And I just had these tubs of things that need to be filmed. And... uh Lisa, I think you helped me identify this. This is beer from the Guinness Factory Tour. It's almost like in a lucite plastic. And yeah, it's a souvenir you can take home. And I thought that was really interesting. It was only 25 cents. So I might keep it because it's actually really common online once I found what to look for. And they don't go for that much. But it's pretty cool. And that's something I would definitely get if I went there. Now this, I also got a garage sale, and we just don't go to very many garage sales, and I need to start. This is a Fitz and Floyd witch. I love me some Fitz and Floyd, and I love Halloween ones especially. What'd you say? They and they, they do sell well. Uh, this is 1988, so it's vintage. I love when they have the little sticker, and we actually have one or two ones that go with this. There's you know, witches in different positions. So I believe this was $2 or less, and that is just a steal. You never know. It's like there's no middle ground. People either sell this stuff, like, for a dollar or two, or they know what they have and they sell it, you know, really high, I feel like. Now, this is a bolo. We had the teapot and we had the mugs. I believe we sold the teapot and we might have a few mugs left. But... I found this for $2. It actually didn't have a price in the thrift store, but I knew to ask for it before I got to the register. Oh, thanks, Lisa. Thanks for stopping by. Um, this is Marcus Notley. I can't believe I remembered his name. Uh, Ireland Pottery. So I really like it, and it'll be perfect for St. Patrick's Day, but we'll list it right away. <laughs> and by right away, I mean when we get to it. <laughs> So, anyways, that is a good pickup, Marcus Notley. I think that could go for about $25. It's a little less than I thought, but for 2 bucks, you can't beat that. All right, let's move over here. Now, this is a Bolo brand. We have sold lots of it, and we have bought lots of it. It is Villaroy & Bach, made in Luxembourg. Oh, it needs cleaned. Don't judge. This has the original sticker. Wonderful World Timbuktu. So yeah, that's the pattern name. The barcode did not scan. But y'all, one of these mugs recently, within the past 30 days, has um, sold for $34 free shipping. And Matthew found four of them at our Value World Thrift. Gosh, that's a great pickup. I saw that there's like a, a plate listed for 30 bucks, and who knows? I love it. And speaking of Villaroy and Bach, we found these, or I found these ones. They are like little coasters. Kind of reminds me of the Longaberger uh, crock lids or coasters that I showed in Thrifty Business. But the pattern is City Life Blue from the Metropolitan Collection. And yeah, these sell well too. And it's not as common of a pattern. I don't remember how much but I think I got these for 41 cents each, and that's just a great pickup. Anytime you see Villaroy and Bach. <laughs> that's funny, Elisa. Yeah, definitely hit us up. I actually have another one that's brown. I'll have to show them to you. This one, to me, is cuter, though. Um, this I thought was super neat. It's like a little book. 
It says, the gift is small, goodwill is all. I love me some goodwill. <laughs> but this is from the Metropolitan Museum of Art. And anything from them sells pretty well. This looks like a little flask or something. I mean, I kind of want to keep it because I collect barware a little bit. Hello, Patricia. And uh, yeah, I even look at the Metropolitan Museum of Art gift shop that's currently, you know, available. And I want so many things from there. So I thought that was a great find. I don't remember how much it go for goes for, but it was worth picking up. Now, speaking of Depop, we were going to post this on there, possibly. I thought it was really quirky. I got this in Houston when I was visiting my brother. Um, it is Hollister. I love the graphics. Just really, really cool. There it is, Hollister. And it's in great condition. I got it for $4.00. Oh, yeah, 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 and fanny packs are very in right now. Um, who had a fanny pack? I know I did. <laughs> My mom still uses one, but no shame in her game. She calls it her fanny. She calls it her fanny. What? She calls it her fanny. Oh, her fanny. Does she really? <laughs> That's funny. Um, this I got for $3 recently at Salvation Army. I kind of stopped going there because, man, the one near me is very overpriced. But this was a great deal because... It's practically in new condition, and this has sold recently for $25. It kind of has that ombre effect, perfect for summer. And yeah, I thought that was a great find. So Starbucks is kind of hit or miss, um, but for the most part, I look it up if I find Starbucks. Um, let's go to a Bolo brand. I have talked about Vietri, Italy, uh, many times in our thrift hauls. And I found two different things from them, not at the same place. This is a Vietri, like, pea pod dish. It only has that tiny, tiny, tiny flea bite. Whoa, so tiny. Anyways, uh, whoa, I almost dropped it. That would not be good. There is the mark. And this is what you usually see, Vietri. We have sold a platter for over $100. We sold this... A uh, rabbit made of cabbage and stuff. It's like an anthropomorphic concoction for $34. And this can go for about $25. And I think we got it for $3. So this one isn't one of the most expensive Vietri items we have found, but I really like it. I think it's cute. Definitely going up on eBay. Now, these are even better. Now, I don't know what compelled me to pick them up because normally if a plate is just plain looking, I don't. But I do, well, that's kind of a, not true. I pick up lots of different plates and I always turn them over. But this one is kind of cool because it's not completely um, smooth. It almost has that like, I don't know, homemade quality or that's what people go for sometimes. And I looked it over. And there is the Vietri mark. Now, I get 40% off on Mondays because I'm a teacher. Hallelujah, amen. And so it was only $4 instead of $6.99. Now, I got six of them, y'all. So I spent $24. This is the Paprika shade. I love it. It's like a red-brown color. And I am colorblind, so don't come for me. But I like the, uh, the other side. I think that's pretty color, too. Anyways, they go for $30 a plate. So $24 can potentially turn into um, $180. So look for Vietri, y'all. But, you know, of course, do your lookups and solds. But I thought that is just awesome. And, yeah, Vietri sells, and I'm looking forward to that. Oh, and that $30 for that one plate that sold recently? Oh, no. I take that back. Sorry. It was a set of four that sold for 120 So that equals $30 a plate. And there were more listings like it. And they paid for shipping. So these are really heavy plates. So they paid for shipping. Anyways, I digress. Um, let's see. Oh, that's cool. Elisa says she has a bright yellow one from North Face. Wear it across the body to garage sale so I don't have to carry my pocketbook. You know, that's smart. Fanny packs are so handy. 
Um, <laughs> for real. So I don't doubt it. And uh, yeah, the Etri. Next, I thought this was a puppet. And a lot of times I'm surprised it's not a puppet. It is a golf head club, golf club head cover. Isn't that cute? His whiskers are a little messed up. But this has, it has many of them. That was Pete. He was saying he liked it. Um, many of these are on eBay, and I think it can go for about 20 bucks. Uh, oh, from Caddyshack. Yes, this is, I guess, a reference to Caddyshack. Um, it, I don't believe it had, let's look inside, y'all. I mean, that looks like a puppet to me. I deal with lots of puppets. Oh, the tag might be ripped off. I don't know. But easy to find, easy to research. And it was 59 cents. I just love selling plush. Now, next, this is a Mai Tai glass that Matthew found in the back of a cupboard uh, that was hidden at an estate sale. Waikiki Shopping Plaza. Waikiki calls. Hawaii loves you. Oh, at least someone loves me. Just kidding. And Matthew, how much was this? Like 50 cents. So I think that's pretty cool. I kind of collect tiki, and this is like tiki adjacent because it's from Hawaii, and it's just pretty, and I just like it. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Pete wants to chew on it. Y'all don't even know. Amen, Je uh, Becky. <laughs> <I don't laughs> um, we buy so much plush. We always have to be careful because we have three dogs, and they will come up and like walk around the house with it. And what makes me mad is when they pull off the tags. Because a lot of times we can catch them before, like, they destroy the plush. Because they love to rip out the stuffing, of course, because they're dogs. But I hate it when they, they go straight for the tag first. And, uh, yeah, there's a plush I got recently, like, two days ago. And little Benjamin ripped up the tag. See, I don't know if y'all hear those sirens. That's the thrift police to come arrest the dogs. I don't know what I'm saying. I need a I need a cocktail. It's Friday. Anyways, who else is gonna drink tonight? It doesn't have to be a cocktail. It can be a coffee, a tea. <laughs> I don't know. What do you say? <laughs> Moving on. <laughs> Let's come to some more plush. Now this is a brand I hear about all the time. Who knows the brand? Gosh, I don't want to show the tag. That might give it away. Um, anyways, I always heard about this brand, especially while watching Thrifty Business or on the thrifting board. It is Stife. Not only do I love mice, like I just said, but I found my first Stife. I was so happy. Made in Germany. I love the little tag. It's kind of unique. So look for these tags. Uh, made in Western Germany. So really cool. This was like a dollar, and I think it can go for about $34. Oh, man, I want to keep it, but no. that's good money. <laughs> Matthew says, no, we have enough. I know, hon. Just kidding. Um, this is super cute. It reminds me of the Squish Mellows, but it's not. It is from an anime, Mame Goma. I think he's a little seal. Look at his little seal tail. Isn't that cute? <laughs> that is a chunky little seal. Uh, and he's so soft. And there's no stains, and I love it. Huh? Oh yeah, he's in advertising and marketing. You talking about like his character? Mm -hmm. he's not a cartoon, he's a oh, that's right. I forgot. He's not a cartoon. He's like in their advertising, but super cute. Look for anime plushes. I love when I find them. Um, yeah, he's gonna be hard to part with, but. I think perhaps he could get 20. He's not as big as the Stife, but anime sells. This is something we got from an estate sale. It's this cute little weenie dog, and it's just a figurine. At first, I thought it was something else, like, oh, that could be like a door handle. Doesn't that kind of look like a handle? But it's not. I mean, I don't think so. It's just a miniature, a collectible, a tchotchke, a knickknack, everything. Um, so, yeah. Really, really cute. I just had to show you all that. I love buying stuff like that. It, it might go in the antique booth. Elisa found a new tag four-foot Bugs Bunny with a soccer ball for $1.99. Oh, that's nice. 
can't find it anywhere. I'm glad it has the tag Elisa, uh, Warner Brothers. Yeah, I. It should sell well, yeah. Especially, I know, I know soccer isn't Space Jam, but Space Jam is having a reboot, and Bugs Bunny with the sports ball, I mean, might make it even more popular. So yeah, good find. Um, this is another plush we got. It's always cool to look for interesting plushes, you know, aside from the puppy dogs, the cats, the bears... But we have a, a squid, y'all, and he's very soft. And it is from the brand Wild Republic, and it does have its tag. This was about $3, I think, and this has recently sold for $27. So, yeah, really, really cool. I mean, Wild Republic is very popular, and not everything from Wild, Re Wild Republic sells. I mean, I see it quite often, and Matthew was showing me. This squid has its little beak, too. Okay, you can't see it very well, but this is literally like a little beak from a squid. And I did not know that when squids decompose, the beak is all that's left or something like that. And people make jewelry out of it? Is that true? Interesting. Anyways, I love it. I'd want to keep it, but I say that for everything. Um, this is... A very well-known character called the Clyben Cat. I think I don't know if Clyben is the artist. I forget. But this sheet can go for about twenty dollars, perhaps even a little more. So that was really cool. You just you just find a cat with red shoes. It kind of reminds me of Pete the Cat in a weird way. Um, yeah, it's a twin flat sheet, and it reminds me of the '90s. It might not be, but. But yeah, look for Clyben cat stuff, K-L-I-B-A-N. Yes, Elisa's agreeing with me. <laughs> um, we are almost done. I have three really interesting objects to show you next. This I thought was so interesting. Uh, we show puzzles on our halls a lot, and we sold a lot of puzzles because in the pandemic, everyone knows that lots of people became interested in puzzles again because it's a great thing to do as a family or if you're bored. Now, look at this one. This is a pandemic one. <laughs> Beach is closed for your safety. Let's just take a look at this together. Oh, yeah, there's a building made of toilet paper, antiseptic. Oh, yeah, there's the flatten the curve. Mm -hmm. Hand sanitizer, mask are required. But what's really cool about this puzzle, and by the way, I got it for like $1.39, is it has a list of events that happened for the pandemic, ending with July 2020. Uh, maybe this was produced around then. So yeah, and look, I thought this was interesting. Uh, this particular brand, Thinkmaster, has a missing piece warranty. Isn't that awesome? I think that's really, really cool. Um, possible COVID symptoms, and yeah. I, what'd you say, Matthew? Oh, yeah, it's crazy how it's already at the thrift. I don't know. I just thought that was really interesting. It can go for about $20, maybe a little more, maybe a little less, but that's the trending solds that I saw. Oh, yeah, Becky says Clyben is the artist, and she sold lots of his stuff. That's good. And, uh, oh, you, Elisa has dissected a squid, the beak feels like a big piece of thick plastic. Interesting. I wonder if I wonder if those are illegal to sell. No, because they're yeah, I, not, yet. not yet. They're not endangered yet. Maybe certain species of them. That's really cool. I I'm gonna look that up. Um, so yeah, interesting to know that. Did you uh, dissect it in? Oh, for your STEM class, <laughs> not for my pleasure. <laughs> You're so funny, Elisa. Good to clarify. Now, y'all, I don't deal with jewelry a lot. I'm trying to branch out. And at my favorite thrift store, St. Vincent's, of course, I get 40% off on Mondays. I always talk about it like it's the biggest deal. But it's responsible for a lot of our inventory. I'll just say that. <laughs> uh, yes, I like the puzzle too, Alisa. Uh, this just, I don't know, struck my fancy. I just thought it was so pretty. 
And I, I bought it for $7. I actually bought two other pieces of jewelry for $4 and $2 that I'm going to show in another haul. But I just, I want to know your thoughts peop, to my jewelry aficionados. Now, this looks like costume jewelry. That's what Matthew says. Um, this, you know, it's hard to tell what it is. Plastic. I don't know. It's huge, though. There's the back side. It just looked really nice. And, you know, if anyone has tips for jewelry, um, we were thinking about doing it on Depop and eBay. But what are some key words? What do y'all think? Um, yeah, let us know in the comments um, or on YouTube later. I would seriously like to hear from you. And I just like the feathers. And it just looks very regal, darling. And... We finally get to use our little jewelry display. Matthew actually buys a little more jewelry than I do. Sorry, it took me a while to say that. Let's see, Becky. Is it marked on the back or by the clasp? Oops, I just took that little thing off. We did not see any markings on the back. Hold on, what am I doing? Let me set this down. Let's look together at the necklace. You do see some glue right here. Becky says, vintage costume, statement piece. Ooh, statement piece. I love that. Definitely makes a statement. Yeah, I don't see any markings. I think that's what intimidates me about jewelry since I don't wear it. I can recognize when something's pretty and stuff. And I can also kind of recognize if things are well made. But when it comes to like keywords, I'm like, well, it's gold. But what kind of gold is it, you know? Uh, Lisa says African. I don't know. I don't know. Let's put it back on her little pedestal. Oh, it looks nice. It does kind of remind me of like Egyptian or something. I, I see what you mean. Um, I don't know. I can picture like a little scarab. You know what? Those little wings remind me of like a little golden snitch. That would be cute. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> Let's go to the last item on this little pedestal here. Thank you guys for your help. Um, I've been holding on to this for a while, and I just keep, I don't know, it just keeps getting into a tub. But take a look at this cabbage. It is like a resin faux jadeite. It's, it's meant to look like jade. Uh, it took me a little bit of research, but I think it's called a lucky cabbage, and it's supposed to bring you money and stuff. And I found this at a thrift store for $7, and I think it's really cool. At first, I thought it was like um, a, a bok choy because <laughs> I played this game on a, it's an app called Plants vs. Zombies, and there's this little bok choy that does little karate chops. <laughs> but I digress. I think it's really pretty, and they actually have some made with real jade and other kind of you know minerals and stuff on eBay. Now the real ones go for like 200, 250. But this, I think, it's in really good condition and pretty, and it's, it's pretty big and heavy. I think it can go for about 75. I just really like the look of it. Um, Elisa said it kind of reminds her of Squash Blossom. I can see that for sure. Um, it's a music box bok choy. Yeah, I wish it was a music box. Um, this is actually the pedestal. I actually stole that idea from Jason because he displays his tiki mugs so nicely. Um, yeah. Oh, bok choy. <laughs> oh, I see. <laughs> yes, weird does sell, and I thought it was weird, but I, I'm like, this looks like it has a special significance, and I was right, and I just think it's kind of cool, and it makes me want to research it anymore. Oh, and um, Becky said that... Oh, wait, hold on. Becky... Becky Dick would be a good person to ask. Yes, I have seen her in the thrifting board talk about jewelry a lot. So she must be the jewelry go-to. So thank you. I will ask her. Uh, so yeah, thank you guys for joining me on this little thrift haul. I just really wanted to get one in because it's the first Friday of my summer vacation. Hope everyone is having a great summer so far. And hopefully everyone's having a little bit better of a time than last year at this time. So yeah, you can check this up on YouTube later today. 
and look at all of our other thrift hauls at Pete's Treasures on YouTube. And thanks so much for watching. And don't forget, we have a Depop now if you want to follow us at Pete's Street. Um, it'll be in the comments of our YouTube video. We also are really working hard on our Instagram. Matthew has been making really cool graphics. If you're on the thrifting board, Matthew and I like to post twice a week a new Bolo brand category. This past uh, Thursday, oh yeah, yesterday was crafting supplies and the one before that was dolls. So if you haven't joined the thrifting board and you want a document that contains many categories of brands to look for while thrifting, join the thrifting board. We'll be happy to have you. It is a great group that I've learned a lot from. And we now have an antique booth. So if you're in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, come down to the Antique Gallery of Mesquite. And our, our store, our little booth, is really close to the entrance. So yeah, you can't miss it. Thank you so much for watching. Keep digging for treasure. And you'll never find it if you don't look. Bye, everybody. Thanks for checking in with us. Don't feed the bears. They're stuffed.